Let's learn how to use your own image in Leonardo AI image to image feature. So for you to be able to do that, you'll just need to simply head onto Leonardo's website. Now, once you're in, you should be able to see the screen in here. You'll need to click on to create an account in here. So you'll be redirected onto this pop-up screen. So you need to be whitelisted to be able to sign in. So if you aren't on the early access list, you'll need to register below using your first name. You'll type it in here and your email in here. So once you have already put it in there, simply click on to count me in. You'll just need to simply head back onto this page in here and click on the I'm whitelisted to sign in. So you should be redirected onto this page in here wherein it gives you an option to log in with Apple, Google, Microsoft, or you could log in using your email in there and your password. So if you have forgotten your password, just simply click onto your forgot password in here, and then you'd be redirected onto a page wherein Leonardo AI will help you create a new one. So right after that, you'll just need to simply click on to sign in. And if you need an account, you'll just simply click on to sign up. So here onto the bottom part, you'll actually see the privacy policy and terms of service in here. So if you want to go through all of the details onto how this works, just simply click on to each. And also you can see in here that this Leonardo AI is already available now on iOS. You'll just need to download this onto the App Store. Now, personally, my favorite thing or my favorite option to use while logging in is actually Google. So you'll just need to simply click on your preferred login option and then you'd be able to head onto the dashboard now we are already seeing in here leonardo ai's dashboard and we are greeted with the different featured models in here so we'll just simply skim to that so that you'd be able to see the different models that they offer also here onto the bottom part you should be able to see the recent creation done by other users so you could have or utilize the search bar in here you could also click onto the trending new and top you could also see all of the images and upscaled images now actually here onto the left side should be able to see the tokens that are available into your account so these tokens are really essential since these are what you use to generate the images so don't worry since this resets in 12 hours but it may take up to an hour to update your tokens so for you to be able to have more if you want more tokens just simply click on to upgrade in here so that you should be able to see the different plans that leonardo offers so we're currently using the free plans which has 150 fast generations per day you also have other options Options like apprentice at ten dollars per month artisan 24 dollars per month and maestro at 48 dollars per month now let's head back onto the dashboard in here and here on to the left side we could also see some start here options the home community feed personal feed training data sets finding models and the user tools which are the ai image generation ai canvas texture generation some settings fact and help the logout button and your account so for us to be able to proceed onto the image to image, you'll need to head onto AI image generator in here. So we'll just need to simply click onto that. Now we are actually headed already onto Leonardo AI's editing page. So here onto the upper part, you should be able to see the type of prompt in here, where in here is where you would be able to type in all of the things that you want to see onto your photo. Here onto the lower part, you have here the finds and models, and the one that we're currently using right now is Leonardo Diffusion. So there are a lot more if you click onto this drop down menu, you could also click onto the custom model. The different styles that it offers, so we have a Leonardo style and none for the Leonardo Diffusion and if you don't want to see in the image so you'll need to type it in here so that you won't be able to see it onto your image now here onto the left side these are actually the number of images that you could generate so a moment right now but you can have up until 8 if you're actually subscribed to a higher plan so you have here the photo reel feature prompt magic we have also the alchemy public images the image dimension so you could select the resolution of the final images so you could also choose a ratio you could update the guidance scale. So this is how strongly your prompt is weighted. We have here the control net that allows you to influence your generation with input images and the tilling, which is ideal for repeating textures or backgrounds. So we have here the two options that we're gonna use, which is the image to image and image prompt. So we'll just need to upload or drag your photo in here so that we could utilize it. So since we're gonna use the image to image feature, and as you can see, it is actually blocked right now. So what we'll need to do is head onto the upper part in here since that is not available if the prompt magic in here or any of this feature is turned on. So let's head back. And as you can see, it is already open. So let's go ahead and get our portrait and drag and drop it in here. Now I have already in here a photo that I have downloaded from free pay. So 
let's just have this one drag out. So we're gonna use this certain photo to be an alternative for a portrait. If you have your own photo, so it is better to use your own photo so that you'd be able to generate a picture that would depict your face. So let's drop it in here. And as you can see, it is still downloading right now. So we'll just need to wait and it is successfully added already. Now, once it is successfully added in here, don't forget to adjust this in its strength. So a higher init strength will preserve the original image more. So let's try to adjust this up until around 0.55. So let's leave it like that because if we have it onto very high, then it will actually not gonna really relate onto the prompt that we have typed in. So it is better to have it balanced. So right after the generation that we'll do earlier, if we're not gonna be satisfied, we'll just gonna keep on adjusting this until we achieve the photo that we wanna see. Now, as you can see, I've gone ahead and already added a prompt in here, which is portrait of a girl into an ethereal fairy-like creature surrounded by magical sparkles and soft, dreamy lighting. So let's try to see what it will give us for this one. Now, as you can see in here, this will use six tokens. So we have 142 tokens remaining. Now let's simply click on the generate and see what it will give us. Now, as you can see, using the text prompts, here are the photos that it generated. So this is the original photo, and this is the generation of a portrait of a girl into an ethereal fairy-like creature. So it is also surrounded by magical sparkles, so we could actually see, the, see that one in here. So let's click on it so that we could zoom it. So you actually have the option in here to delete this, to download, to copy it, and to unzoom, and also to remove the background. So we'll just simply click on to download, and let's try to check onto the other photo that we have in here. So this is the other photo. So it actually replicates the image that we have actually input in there using the text prompt. So that actually helps. So let's try another prompt to see what it would look like or if it will work onto another prompt. Now let's try this updated prompt in here. So let's see portrait of a superhero girl placing her against a backdrop of swirling galaxies and celestial elements. So we could try also to update the init strength in here. So you could adjust this as per your liking. And then let's simply click on the generate and as you can see this will still use six tokens as well now as you can see here are the photos that it generated so it actually looks like a superhero however it's just there is just makeup and we did not really get the backdrop that we want so let's check the other photo so this one looks like a superhero more and this one this sparkles in here actually complements the one that we have onto the background that would look like a celestial element so let's try to adjust in here the init strength so that we would be able to see different photos as well that it would generate so let's add it on to 0.18 so this is actually very low so let's try to see if it will complement more onto the picture or onto the prompt so let's click on to generate again now as you can see in here since we have adjusted the strengths here are the generations that it have given us so it actually gives us a more superhero vibes in here so as you can see this thing that it has onto the face and also onto the body is more like a superhero thing so this one is just the only error onto this specific photo let's head on to the other one and this one i think this one looks perfect so this really complements the superhero that we want to see onto our photo now you could always just play within the strengths in there and the prompt and just simply click on to generate so the ai will generate your image based onto your input and keep in mind also that it might take a few tries to get the output that you desire so actually onto our first attempt you can see some similarities but since we have adjusted some things in here you could still see the similarity but there are already differences from the original image so we'll just need to try and try to adjust the strengths in here so that you'd be able to see the different impacts so it's like a trial and error process so as you can see here are the other photos that we have generated so you can experiment with different styles by browsing the homepage for inspiration and there you have it you've learned how to use your own image in leonardo ai so it's all about finding the right balance between in its strength and your desired style so to create unique artworks with your face remember practice makes perfect so keep experimenting and having fun with this creative tool